I appreciation. We make excellence in others our own property. The opportunity for doing mischief is found a hundred times a day, and of doing good once in a year. Men use thought only as authority for their injustice, and employ speech only to conceal their thoughts. A multitude of books is making us ignorant. We have a natural right to make use of our pens as of our tongue, at our peril, risk, and hazard. The progress of rivers to the ocean is not so rapid as that of man to error. The true triumph of reason is that it enables us to get along with those who do not possess it. Everyone goes astray, but the least imprudent are they who repent the soonest. Chance is a word void of sense. Nothing can exist without a cause. It is vain for the coward to flee. Death follows close behind. It is only by defying it that the brave escape. The first step, my son, which one makes in the world, is the one on which depends the rest of our days. He is a hard man who is only just, and a sad one who is only wise. Everything's fine today, that is our illusion. Nature has always had more force than education. Fear follows crime, and is its punishment. What a heavy burden is a name that has become too famous. Anyone who seeks to destroy the passions instead of controlling them is trying to play the angel. This self-love is the instrument of our preservation. It resembles the provision for the perpetuity of mankind. It is necessary. It is dear to us. It gives us pleasure, and we must conceal it. We cannot always oblige, but we can always speak obligingly. To succeed in the world, it is not enough to be stupid. You must also be well-mannered. To the wicked, everything serves as pretext. He who is not just as severe, he who is not wise is sad. All men are born with a nose and five fingers, but no one is born with a knowledge of God. Froth at the top, dregs at bottom, but the middle excellent. Let us work without theorizing. Tis the only way to make life endurable. He who has not the spirit of this age has all the misery of it. It is not known precisely where angels dwell, whether in the air, the void, or the planets. It has not been God's pleasure that we should be informed of their abode. Wherever there is a settled society, religion is necessary. The laws cover manifest crimes, and religion covers secret crimes. One merit of poetry few persons will deny. It says more and in fewer words than prose. Let the punishments of criminals be useful. A hanged man is good for nothing. A man condemned to public work still serves the country and is a living lesson. Of all religions, the Christian should of course inspire the most tolerance. But until now Christians have been the most intolerant of all men. He shines in the second rank, who is eclipsed in the first. Governments need to have both shepherds and butchers. Love his features, which pierce all hearts. He wears a bandage which conceals the faults of those beloved. He has wings. He comes quickly and flies away the same. It is one of the superstitions of the human mind to have imagined that virginity could be a virtue. I have lived eighty years of life and know nothing for it. But to be resigned and tell myself that flies are born to be eaten by spiders and man to be devoured by sorrow. We must distinguish between speaking to deceive and being silent to be reserved. History should be written as philosophy. The world embarrasses me and I cannot dream that this watch exists and has no watchmaker. The public is a ferocious beast one must either chain it or flee from it. I die adoring God, loving my friends, not hating my enemies, and detesting superstition. Who serves his country well has no need of ancestors. Weakness on both sides is, as we know, the motto of all quarrels. Our country is that spot to which our heart is bound. The instruction we find in books is like fire. We fetch it from our neighbors, Kindle it at home, communicate it to others, and it becomes the property of all. It is not love that should be depicted as blind, but self-love. 
Men hate the individual whom they call avaricious only because nothing can be gained from him. The sovereign is called a tyrant who knows no laws but his caprice. When he to whom one speaks does not understand, and he who speaks himself does not understand. That is metaphysics. Satire lies about literary men while they live, and eulogy lies about them when they die. It is the flash which appears. The thunderbolt will follow. All styles are good except the tiresome kind. I should like to lie at your feet and die in your arms. The ancients recommended us to sacrifice to the graces, but Milton sacrificed to the devil. Very often, say what you will, a knave is only a fool. Very learned women are to be found in the same manner as female warriors, but they are seldom or ever inventors. The little may contrast with the great in painting, but cannot be said to be contrary to it. Oppositions of colors contrast, but there are also colors contrary to each other, that is, which produce an ill effect because they shock the eye when brought very near it. I know many books which have bored their readers, but I know of none which has done real evil. When men do not have healthy notions of the divinity, false ideas supplant them, just as in bad times one uses counterfeit money when there is no good money. Time, which alone makes the reputation of men, ends by making their defects respectable. Such is the feebleness of humanity, such is its perversity, that doubtless it is better for it to be subject to all possible superstitions, as long as they are not murderous, than to live without religion. We cannot wish for that we know not. Society, therefore, is as ancient as the world, and every author let us distinguish the man from his works. The infinitely little have a pride infinitely great. The truths of religion are never so well understood as by those who have lost the power of reason. Woe to the makers of literal translations, who by rendering every word weaken the meaning. It is indeed by so doing that we can say the letter kills, and the spirit gives life. What then do you call your soul? What idea have you of it? You cannot of yourselves, without revelation, admit the existence within you of anything but a power unknown to you of feeling and thinking. The flowery style is not unsuitable to public speeches or addresses, which amount only to compliment. The lighter beauties are in their place when there is nothing more solid to say. But the flowery style ought to be banished from a pleading, a sermon, or a didactic work. Religion was instituted to make us happy in this life and in the other. What must we do to be happy in the life to come? Be just, indeed. History is nothing more than a tableau of crimes and misfortunes. Journalism still, in a democracy, is the essential force to get the public educated and mobilized to take action on behalf of our ancient ideals. FDR once said he was like a cat, that he would pounce and then relax. That's much harder to do in the 24-hour cable world, because it's almost like the press demands of you to be saying something or doing something every day. The past is not simply the past, but a prism through which the subject filters his own changing self-image. I think after Sandy Hook, when Obama went out, and he talked a lot about gun control and met with the parents, there was a sense that something was going to happen. But then, I guess, the power of special interests was greater than public sentiment. My books are written with a strong chronological spine. Those who knew Lincoln described him as an extraordinarily funny man. Humor was an essential aspect of his temperament. He laughed, he explained, so he did not weep. Journalists were at the forefront from the Civil War until the early 1,900 seconds. Nothing was being done to solve the problems of the industrial age. The bully pulpit is somewhat diminished in our age of fragmented attention and fragmented media. As a historian, what I trust is my ability to take a mass of information and tell a story shaped around it. I am a historian, with the exception of being a wife and mother, 
It is who I am, and there is nothing I take more seriously.